it just uh, kind of again snowballed and you know all of a sudden started doing more and more cars for SEMA and some of the other uh, big car shows and um, you know just uh, kind of kept going with it. Uh, Jeremy Sainer, I'm the owner and painter of Lucky Strike Designs. Uh, in the grand scheme of things is um, I originally was a sign painter because um, my neighbor did a lot of uh, box trucks and uh, you know plumber trucks and, and that's how I kind of got into this you know paint business but um, you know one of the things that kind of happened is the, the snowball effect as I like to call it where uh, you know once guys find out you know hey you can do this um, you know they start asking you know can you outline my flames and then it turned into can you lay out the flames and then paint the flames and all of a sudden you're doing custom paint for a living and that was uh, 15 years ago this year so definitely did it as a side gig uh, you know for a while uh, just because you know they you know not a lot of people would trust a 15 year old with their you know hundred thousand dollar hot rod right out the gate so uh, you know still did kind of signs and lettering and uh, a lot of pinstriping and hand painted graphics and things like that and um, you know again just more and more guys got that you know product on their cars or bikes or whatever and um, you know again here we are you know I was always kind of into the art but never into the cars per se um, that kind of grew in later whenever you know you get your license and all of a sudden you know fast and furious comes out and you know you want to be, be the cool kid with the cool car but um, you know back in the, the high school days you know I actually got thrown out of my art class because my teacher wanted me to paint bowls of fruit and I was doing like rat finks and hot rods and you know that kind of stuff so you know I think I was always kind of destined to, to be part of the, the automotive uh, side of the world. My main business right now is uh, a lot of motorcycle work. Um, you know, doing stuff like this is still, you know, definitely part of it, but, um, you know, the, the custom paint side of it is a lot of helmets, a lot of motorcycles. Um, you know, very rarely do I really paint a car anymore, um, but, you know, doing like the, the artwork side of it, I mean, I've painted, you know, hockey helmets, cars, trucks, you know, pretty much anything, so. You know, those are always, you know, really fun. Um, did a bunch of projects for, for corporate, uh, for a paint company I used to work for. Did a big, giant goalie helmet for the uh, PPG Paints Arena. Um, you know, that was a fun project to do. That was kind of different, um, you know, just because of the sheer size of it. It was 10 foot tall, about 10 and a half foot wide. Um, so, I mean, it was like one of those things that the arena would, would have to like take selfies in. Um, you know, so, so having those kind of things, you know, in the resume is, is different than, you know, a, again, a hot rod or a motorcycle that you paint a hundred of. Uh, but at the same arena, we did a uh, giant hockey stick that actually follows a set of elevators and escalators up to like the third concourse. And uh, that thing was 46 feet tall and it was two pieces, um, but painted tons of surfboards and roller blades and baseball bats. And, um, you know, that kind of stuff is, is those like one-off weird things. They're like, what the hell am I painting a set of roller skates for? But, um, you know, again, you figure it out and, and make something cool out of them, so. You know, I think I was always kind of destined to, to be part of the, the automotive uh, side of the world and I really enjoy cars and motorcycles and all kinds of stuff so it's been uh, been a fun ride for sure.